On March the 14th, science and math nerds the world over will be celebrating the Pi Day of the Century, the once in a hundred years date that aligns with the first five digits of the number Pi, the third month, the 14th day, the 15th year. It's an admittedly absurd celebration of a purely coincidental alignment, but like many absurdities, it has the power to open up new worlds and ideas to those that embrace it. This year, though, Pi Day is also a day that people the world over will be mourning the death of the writer Terry Pratchett. Terry was a master of the absurd. He understood how to create worlds in the heads of his readers that were as superficially silly as celebrating a mathematical constant, and yet had the power to change them deeply. His books have a knack of turning a revealing spotlight on the absurdities that hide in all of us. Absurdities like mean-spiritedness, cruelty, irrationalities even. But rather than condemn our imperfections, in his books he embraces our humanity. Through his novels, Pratchett reveals not only what we are, but what we could be for all our flaws and frailties. He sears a message into the souls of his readers that they don't need to be perfect to make the world a better place, but they do need to embrace qualities like compassion, humility and bravery. Especially bravery because as Pratchett hammers home time and time again, being a better person despite your weaknesses is rarely the easy option. So as we celebrate one absurdity on March the 14th this year, let me suggest that we also celebrate the man that consummately used absurdity to teach us how to be ourselves, but better. And if you're wondering what this has to do with risk, just think about it. You'll get there. And of course, go read some Pratchett. <laughs>